That night of the accident, during the day we had lost a very important football game and me and the guys, we went to the local dance. You know, we stood over in the corner, you know, all upset. But we didn't really know how upset of a day it really was going to be. One of our local firemen, who was a volunteer recreational coach, came into the dance and he found me and he said, Tommy, you have to go home. I'm like, Mr. Mitchell, I, you know. And he said, well, listen, he said, there's been an accident with your brother and you have to go home. So I went home, I, I went up the driveway and as I got to the house, now I'm 17 years old, I'm like, why is my father talking to our priest and he's crying and what are all these people doing here? Uh, I walked in the house and there was just people everywhere. It was confusing. It was, and I saw my mom sitting on a couch. She's one of seven girls and she had two sisters sitting with her and she was hysterical crying. And I, and she called me over and, and she told me that uh, what had happened. And that day stays with me, that moment stays with me forever and ever. Like it was yesterday. We have a wonderful community in Lyndhurst. Very close, such as yours. My mom and dad were of deep faith. And the very next morning, my mom never missed church. Mm -hmm. Never. Ever. And the next morning she had two sisters take her to church. And as the priest read the gospel, the next thing they would do is they have a homily. And they explain the gospel and what it means to have faith in this example. And when he saw my mom sitting in the front row or a couple of rows, he stopped and he paused and he said, I'll give you an example of faith. We all know of the tragedy that the Shoebridge family has experienced last night in the community of Lyndhurst. The truest meaning of faith that I can give you, I want you to know that Yolanda Shoebridge is sitting right here with her sisters at church believing in that her Lord is watching over her son.